Here's a jaunt through my typical Saturday in South LA, Louisiana that is. Let's start in a little town called Brobridge. Up with the chickens, we make our way to Zydeco breakfast and a packed dance hall. About 11 a.m., we shuffle down the street to a Cajun jam session led by an award-winning, Grammy award-winning musician. Now we're on the road to New Orleans, and by early afternoon, we're strutting along with a second line parade, which leads us to a drum circle in Congo Square. We make a dash for Frenchman Street and dance the Balboa to at least seven live bands. By sunset, we hop aboard one of the last river boats for the jazz cruise, and then finally finish watching the brass bands who are playing on the street. This LA knows how to have a good time. But there's something deeper happening here that has survived every hurricane and corrupt government for the last 300 years. <laughs> it's the dancing, the music, the good times rolling along, they build community. Our lives as professional musicians are spent practicing, rehearsing, performing, and then more practicing. This insular relationship to music allows a little space for community connections. What would it be like if professional musicians were regularly engaged with people starved for musical experience? What if this was one of the core principles of music training and professional expectations? The transformative power of a quality music education for the most underserved, and the power of music to speak to the souls of all humans, conservatory trained or not, is becoming more and more evident. No question in pockets of the world this movement has already begun. El Sistema in Venezuela, the Trash Orchestra of Paraguay, are taking kids living in poverty and offering them lives as accomplished musicians. And Columbus's own Harmony Project, in which people of all ages and walks of life come together to sing. In LA, the professional violinist Vijay Gupta is taking musicians to work with the homeless and incarcerated and form the Street Symphony, a magnanimous gesture on the part of some of the most elite musicians in the world. But what Vijay and his colleagues are finding is that this project is not just an exercise in altruism. They are discovering new 21st century meaning in the classical repertoire as they connect to the common human experiences they have with these folks. So what have I learned from my Southern Louisiana experience that helps me to reach out from the concert hall and give back? Southern Louisiana breathes community. It lives in the moment, in spite of the fact that the lower quarter of the state is sinking into the Gulf. This could be the last day on earth in Southern Louisiana, so they don't waste time being removed from family or neighbor or stranger it's about strangers reaching out to each other, listening, seeing each other. And then we dance, and there's always music. So when I look to inspiration for the Los Angeles Philharmonic musicians taking their music to the street, I recognize that that's what the other LA has been doing all along. <laughs>